Hey guys, it's Tywilla 444 here. I'm here with, as you can see, an announcement video. As you guys haven't seen me, I have changed slightly. I now have glasses. Now, as well, I'm here with... This is something I wrote up today in the middle of class, but it's an anti-bullying thing. Strictly yet simply, he reaches out towards the crown surrounding himself and his friends, asking and pleading at them to move, but nobody listens. He stands there pathetically as they all begin to throw stones. He stands there singing of all the times he has been hurt. He can't allow himself to become inert. Now I'm going to stop right there for a minute and explain that. The stones are insults. They're not actually throwing stones at him. He's being insulted. On the whole, he can't allow himself to become inert. If you're an inert thing, you don't really move a lot. You're not really active. So he's he's allowed himself to fall into this inert state. He can't allow himself to become inert. So he reacts, and all in a flash, he's in the office. He looks across the desk at the principal, three kids brain dead behind him. The principal, where was I? The kids brain, and all the principal has to say is, why did you do this? He quickly turns with a glare in his eyes. He tells the principal of all the times he has been scorned, stoned, and beaten down, oppressed by these kids he calls his peers. His eyes glaze over as tears begin to stream down his face and then he hears people laughing, calling him a crybaby. And he remembers he cannot be inert, so he attacks again and he leaves three more brain-dead kids. The school calls home and his mother stumbles in, obviously drunk again, and hits him across the face. He yells at her, telling her she needs to be a real mom instead of drink all the time and smack him when told to. She smacks him again, but he stands strong and refuses to hit back, and all she says is that he is getting too big for his britches before she hits him again and again. Okay, I'm going to stop there again and explain the next part. This is also against child abuse, because parents can be, your own, can be their own children's bullies as well. And this little things child abuse in a sense and that's that's a way that you know children can be bullied by their parents another way comes up later on but that doesn't matter quite yet uh anyways let's get back to this okay, what was I? he begins to cry and she stops and then he looks her in the eye and tells her to stop being fake and leave his house and never come back she smacks him again. He turns and walks through the crowd behind him, bloodied and beaten because of his mother, and helps up the crying girl at the back of the crowd, surrounded by a group of bullies. They stole her things, shoved her down, and kicked her. All the while they were calling her a whore, a slut, a pathetic waste of space, things she has heard before. He glares at the bullies, knowing they will get what is coming to them and demands her stuff back on moving. They scoff and refuse. He leaves more brain-dead kids, and the cops arrive to arrest his mother. He doesn't cry. He waves goodbye and walks with the girl to her home. When they arrive, her father tries to molest her, but he stops him. Her father is fuming and punches him in the face. He punched back and leaves an unconscious adult. They walk together to his home. His father heard it all and nods politely, taking him and her to the doctors. She's a pregnant teen molested by her father. Get the hell out of here, cat. You're really annoying me right now. Sorry about that. She's a pregnant teen molested by her father. He, a teen who was beaten and bullied. They stood impossibly by each other's side for the rest of their lives. The moral of the story is, as long as you have a friend, you can make it through the bullying. You can make it through it all. Anyways, as you can pick up the whole f molestation thing that I threw out. That is the other way that a parent can be a child's bully. A father can molest their daughter 
or a mother can molest their son. That's another way that they can be a bully to their own kid. Anyways, now I'm a part of the bully anti-bullying movement. This is my showing it. But I'm also going to be a part of a new anti-bullying movement called Make It Stop KTX, which is for Kita Ziana. It's going to be featuring the Kita Ziana characters and voices, and it's just going to be an anti-bullying campaign. So my character, Rallin, which I can do his voice right now for you guys because that video's never going to get uploaded. <laughs> my character, Rallin, is... A very simplistic archer hunter kind of character. So, yeah. However, he's very powerful in the same time. And, you know, now I'm delving off into another topic, but I'm going to end the video here. So, that's my announcement and anti-bullying thing. See, I've... I've been a victim of bullying as well. Robert has... Well, Hyper has, why do I call him Robert? But we've been each other's friends. And we've stuck together. Like the moral says, as long as we stick together, nothing's gonna break us. Because I'm there to pick him up when he falls, and he's there to pick me up. Anyways... Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. See ya.